Ever opened your fridge and thought, I haven't seen my jelly that I just bought from the farmer's market. Or I forgot I had that. I just did that a few days ago. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to organize your fridge in just a few steps. So let's start organizing. So step one is to clear out your fridge. This is the time that you'll be taking everything out. This may seem like a hassle, but trust me, it is worth it. Step two is to clean your fridge. With an empty fridge, this is the best time to clean it out. Maybe for some of you guys, it's been a few months since you've cleaned out your fridge. So take out your cleaning supplies and clean it now. I'm gonna be using my favorite store-bought natural cleaner. I love this cleaner. But if you are dealing with bad odors and you're trying to get rid of them, I would suggest you create a solution, half water, half vinegar. It always gets the odor out. Step number three is to declutter. This is a time where you'll be getting rid of all your expired goods, all your leftovers you no longer want. Let me know in the comment section below if you like leftovers. I love leftovers. It's so important to declutter when you're organizing your fridge because you don't wanna organize things you don't use. So this is basically the reality check. All of your expired items are your leftovers. You're gonna let them go. Step four is to categorize. So this is where you're gonna categorize all the items that you want to keep in your fridge. So basically you're gonna be pairing like items with like. So all your veggies are gonna sit with the, the veggies, all of your sauces with your sauce, all your dairy with your dairy, eggs with your egg. You guys get the gist. This also will help you know what you have and the quantity that you have. So step number five is to measure. If you're gonna be bringing in organizing products, as I will, it's important that you measure so that you know what size, what shape, what height products you need in your space. The last thing you wanna do is to order products beforehand and they don't fit. So I like to measure the width of the shelves, the height or the space between each shelf, and also inside the drawers and the depth. This helps me determine what products will fit in my fridge properly. It also lets me know the amount of food items I can sit in these organizing products. Step number six is to determine what organizing products you'll be using. I personally like to use clear organizers, especially in the fridge, because clear organizers help you see what you have, therefore you won't waste the food that sits inside of them. In the past, I used the Home Edit Collection organizers and they worked well, but I wanted to bring in drawers because if you don't know, drawers make everything that sit inside of them easily accessible and that is my goal nowadays. So I purchased some products from Amazon and they are amazing. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Most of the products that I'll be adding to my space has drawers, which is exactly what I needed. If you don't have products on hand, you can stop right now and bring in your food items and wait until they arrive or you can continue the process and then whenever your products do come in, you can then just add your food items to your organizing products. Step number seven is to zone your fridge. So when you establish zones in your fridge, you're basically creating a map for your food. I think zoning out your fridge or creating zones in your fridge is an easy way to find what you need in your fridge with ease without even thinking. When it comes to the zones in my fridge, I'm gonna be designating the top shelf to all of my easy to grab fruit. I'm gonna be designating the shelf under that to all of my canned drinks. Your girl loves carbonated water. The drawer under that shelf is gonna be designated for all of our deli meats and our items that need to be in the fridge but don't necessarily have a place inside of the organizing products. Under that drawer, the shelf is designated to all of our eggs. And under that are the lunch items for the girls. So Sabria can go to the fridge, grab what she needs, her Lunchable. And then of course I can put Cairo's food together whenever she goes to school. If you made it this far, remember to subscribe for more organizing magic. All right, let's continue organizing. And then step number eight is to label everything. I think it's important to label not just your containers, but also your zones. What this does is it helps everyone in the house keep the organization in the fridge lasting longer. And that's it. Your fridge is organized, it makes sense, it's functional, and of course it's beautiful. Remember, an organized fridge isn't just about pleasing the eyes. It can help reduce food waste and save money. I am relaunching my virtual organizing sessions. So basically we can connect virtually and I can help you organize your space. And it's not just limited to closets, it's really any space in your home. So if you need some guidance on where to start, on what products to purchase, on just what to do, you should definitely check out the link below and book a session with moi. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And also let me know in the comment section below how your fridge transformation is going. Until next time, happy organizing. Bye.